they would he'd have to get pretty lucky. They'd have to get pretty lucky to kill uh, two of my minions, I would think. Hello, Snuggle Bugs. Welcome to a very special uh, Road to Legend for the month of June, where we're actually going to be trying the uh, Quest Rogue, the SI7 Rogue, as requested by Hero. Uh, I'll admit, I'll admit, I've never played this deck, uh, aside from attempting, you know, as I mentioned, I do sometimes try it a little bit in casual before I start to record, and uh, I don't know if it's just me not knowing how to pilot the deck or what, but it does not seem to be very successful. Let me know in the comments down below if this is the deck you are playing, and let me know what I'm doing wrong. So that way I can uh, try to improve and maybe come back to this later to give it the uh, respect that it deserves. Uh, starting with, of course, the Skulker, which is actually one of the better cards to have on two, so that's actually quite good. One mana Skulker, or, I mean, it's only a two-cost minion right now for Smuggler, but I could Shadow Step the Smuggler as well. I think we're just going to go with this, uh, with the other Skulker, so I can Dagger. Before I daggered, I guess should should have waited to see what gizmo I got. See, there's what I'm talking about. Oh, never mind. No. That's fine. Switcheroo, so they're probably silence priest. That's my best guess with uh with that. Let me smuggler. Smells like breakfast. Ooh, that's actually not bad. We're gonna play it again. Boom. Yep, completed stage two. Ooh, hidden gyro blade. All right. Now we do have a wide board, uh, which could be troublesome if they have the shellfish coin into the whispers uh, thing that silences deal seven damage. I have I have fourteen damage on board, so technically they would he'd have to get pretty lucky. They have to get pretty lucky to kill uh, two of my minions, I would think. And if I want, I can give one of my minions stealth next turn. Uh, four, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, uh, sixteen. Nah, no, not not that bad. Not quite. Not quite. Shellfish. Yep. And then the silence thing. Sure. Oh, they killed my strongest minion. They would he'd have to get pretty lucky. They'd have to get pretty lucky to kill uh, two of my minions, I would think. Wow, and they killed another one. So they got really lucky on those shots. Um, four, six, seven. Scrambled. I mean, why not get another minion? Whee! Smells like breakfast. Yeah, not the worst, not the best. Uh, gyro blade. I don't want to give it stealth to make sure it survives until next turn. Yep. Give you stealth. Try to get you to live until... Uh, I guess I could have traded the Cutlass, I guess. But try to get it to live so that we have 9 damage on board. Should have traded that, yeah. One one more SI7 card to give me scabs. Okay. Okay, that heals. Draws them another card. If they can do the 7 damage again... I have eight, so I would actually have to get lucky for my best one to survive this time. I guess it's only a six health right now. I could heal it and make it have seven, but... Illuminate. Illuminate number two, I should say. I should add out there, I guess. So six, nine, ten, twelve. Again, not quite. I think they're looking for the whispers thing, and I'm, I'm hoping that they did not get it. Okay, trading the amulet. Oh, silence. Oh my goodness. And more heal. Oh, okay. Sure. Um, what was that? Okay, Zola. Okay. Uh, that's all right, I think. Trade this now, a little late, so, oopsies. I guess we can play Informant. Does finish my quest, which is nice. 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I don't think they have any lethal concerns. Um, and that allows me to go scabs next turn, give it stealth. I'm just gotta hope that it doesn't die. That's the that's the real trick. Okay, even more health. <laughs> shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot. 
Mind you, I do have an 8-8 eight eight that they're going to have to try to take care of. I mean, they can, but that just means that that's less. So, like, these two could trade here. Two of them would have to trade into this, and then that takes out that. So I can keep one of my one of my, one of of my, my dudes alive. That's something. Oh, wait. Nope, they're going to silence it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, and I don't actually have... Um, Enough mana to play my scabs, which is going to be really good for when I do get to do it. As long as I can live until that turn. So hopefully the Spy Master scabs gives me some stuff. Well, I know what it's going to give me, but like I have to try to use those um, wisely. That sounds good, but anyway. Um, Spy Master scabs... 14, 15, 16. They have 19 damage on board. But I kind of want to choose what we give them. Handmaiden's pretty dead, right? And then also give my scabs stealth. I mean, if I do that, though, the turn after I have scabs, so... Yeah, sure. Let's return the healthy one. Let's go all out. Boom, hit them for 12. Or put them down to 12, which means uh, if they do want to... Um, if they don't heal their face, I actually, between the scabs and the hidden gyro blade, have the lethal. So... Come on, don't heal your face. Darn it! <laughs> I mean, it would have been silly for them not to, I guess, but... That's alright. We can hit, and then we can actually just play our Shadow Crafter scabs. I mean, I don't, I don't have lethal. So actually, yeah, I think we just... Shadow Crafter scabs. Keep your enemies close. Your shit. Return everything to the hand. Sure. And then uh, Hero Power, Gyro Blade. Put on a little bit of extra pressure with the deck. Okay. Playing a shellfish. That's fine. I mean, I guess technically the best I could do right now is three to face. <laughs> Again, right? Uh, let's try to trade the Cutlass. Extortion's not the worst. We can trade Extortion. Okay. Mr. Smite is the only thing that can give me lethal off the bottom. Sure. Let's take a SI7 for one mana. Target eliminated. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll do the three damage. Why not? Keep them keep them needing to uh, have answers for us. <laughs> so far, they do. We can get another Gyro Blade next turn if, if they do board clear us and even heal the two. So we just have to hope that that's all they can do at absolute best. Light Bomb? That doesn't quite clear the board. I mean... We don't like to BM, so we're just gonna play the Scabs. Play the weapon, smack them with the gyro blade for our first victory here on the channel <laughs> with the SI7 Quest Rogue. I admit, it's uh, definitely not the easiest to pilot, and I'm sure I made more than just the one mistake. So again, feel free to let me know in the comments. I like to learn, and uh, that's what I, I think uh, we do as a community here, and I do like to share. Um, it's hard to pilot every deck in the game, so the more information, the better for me. If you enjoy the content here on the channel, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to go try it again. <laughs> All right, looks like in this game we're going against a hunter, which we actually haven't seen as much of, so it's probably a rogue. To... <laughs> I'm going to play against it like it's a rogue. We have a Find the Imposter coin, SI7 into like Smuggler, Shadow Step Smuggler. Ooh, they are a hunter, and Doggy Biscuit makes me lean into Base Hunter, some kind of aggressive hunter. Um, it's my guess, Find the Imposter. Uh, I think we do coin the agent just to get the activation as well as, uh, you know, it gives me the... It's just a combo. Or, like, it combos it out. I mean, <laughs> we could prep this first, but nah. Coin. SI7. Sure thing. And then, yeah, depending on what we draw, we probably will play this. Oh, no. What a good draw. Or what a good... Okay, good. Not a snap pick. Not a mountain bear. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, harpoon gun. So strong. So strong. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we smuggle her here. 
Um, we do actually have some trades. If that lives, but I guess it probably won't with, with that. I will shadow step this for next turn, though. But yeah, it's gonna get, it's probably gonna just get smacked with the harpoon gun. Hopefully. Okay. Sinjari. Not a mountain bear. That was a mountain bear. Probably just would have been game over. Ah, okay. You only get one new option, so. I mean, I can extortion this for a four drop, but then I'd have to dagger and hit it, right? I mean, that's actually not bad. I don't know why I'm saying that like it's a bad thing. Yeah. Smells like breakfast. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Actually, yeah, what do I get from this? Okay. That's a good one for later. Good one for later. We have the assassin for, I guess, at least the front portion of a mountain bear. Another harpoon gun. <laughs> I mean, they're they're digging. Luckily for us, since the deck hasn't really been shuffled, they're really only getting one new option every turn. So super likely if they didn't have it the first couple times, that they're not going to have a super cheap thing now. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. What do we do here? Do we just Vessel? We can... No, we prep Vessel. We can't actually 7 Agent. I mean, we can Gyro Blade. blade. SI7 Agent. Just getting this out is actually... Yeah. Yeah, we'll hit there. We'll hit there. No biggie. But, uh, the Fizz Flash Distractor. Um, and since we only actually have... One minion for them to attack with, um, um, if they had Hydralodon. All right, so six, nine. Ooh, I need just something I can combo with my agent because this is going to hit this for three and then my agent can hit it for two. Three, six, nine. I can do 11. Oh, no. Okay. I mean, overall, I mean, I could still hit this and then have the, uh, weapon... Go over to hit the Phelan. Ah, uh, Informant costs too much. Is the only thing. So let's... We can Informant. Assassin. Hit for the 9 and have the weapon Gyro Blade then go kill their 1-3. Boom. Boom. Whap. Okay. And that does give us the Spy Master. Yes! Ooh, yes. Honestly, big beasts, I thought, again. They got something big out there to taunt. Luckily, we did have this. Oh, just... It worked. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next one.